Here come the Yellow Jackets of Georgia Tech to start the 1970 college football season, a year in which many major college teams, including Tech, return to an 11-game regular season. Bud Carson and Georgia Tech. Coach Carson begins his fourth season as head man at Tech. His team has added depth, plus more talent on offense and experience on defense in 1970. Rock Perdoni, as fine a defensive lineman as ever played at Tech, made every major All-American team, the National Swede Nelson Award for Sportsmanship, and was one of four finalists for the Lombardi Award as Outstanding Top College Lineman of the Year. Georgia Tech against South Carolina, coached by Paul Dietzel. It's the season opener at Grant Field. South Carolina was ranked 17th in the nation in preseason polls. Captains for Tech are Rick Evett of Marietta, Georgia, and Rock Perdoni of Wellesley, Massachusetts. In the first quarter, making his initial start at quarterback for Tech is Eddie McShann of Gainesville, Florida. Here, Eddie, number one, passes to Steve Harkey of Atlanta. It's good for 11 yards and a Tech first down early in the ball game. The same combination clicks through the air again. McShann back to throw. Peels it off to Harkey. This play's good for 16 yards, and the Jackets are on their way. McShann's air game was good for Tech early in the contest. Here he spots Larry Studdard. McShann fires it right down the middle, complete. Fine pass and a neat reception by Studdard for 16 yards. Now it's fourth down, six to go. A field goal formation. But it's a fake. Jack Williams holding, spins around, passes. It's complete to Harkey. 17 yards and a jacket first down inside the Carolina 10. Two plays later, McShann back at quarterback, fades to throw, flips it to Harkey. Watch this. Touchdown Tech, the first score of the year. The Jackets lead seven to nothing. Now South Carolina strikes back. This is Rice circling left end. He scores for the Gamecocks, and the game is tied 7-7. Now Jack Moore from Chattanooga, Tennessee, tries a 24-yard field goal. It could put Tech in front by three. It's good, but Carolina scores another touchdown, and at the half, it's 14-10 Gamecocks. In the third quarter, Parker is in punt formation for South Carolina. At safety for Georgia Tech is Mike Wysong. Here's one of the key plays in this ball game. Watch this brilliant return. It's a 43-yard run back, putting Tech in business at the South Carolina 29. The payoff play on this drive for Tech. The option play to the right. McShann pitches back to Kevin McNamara of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. A great block by Harkey. He dives in for the touchdown. Tech leads 17-14. Carolina scores again to lead 20-17. So now Tech begins a drive to try to regain the lead in this seesaw struggle. McShann's pass to Cunningham. Good for 13 yards and a Tech first down. Again, Eddie McShann takes to the air. He spots Larry Studdard. He's got it. A fine reception and a first down for Tech. This time when McShann fades to pass, can't spot a receiver. He's got a run for his life. And he does so beautifully, picking up nine yards and a first down as the third quarter comes to an end. South Carolina leading Tech 20 to 17. In the fourth quarter. McShann back to pass. Flips it to Steve Harkey. Watch this run. A sensational effort by Harkey. It's good for 20 yards and first and goal tech on the South Carolina five. The payoff play for the Jackets to put them back in front in this ball game. It's McNamara diving over for the touchdown. Tech leads again, 23 to 20. Late in the game, Suggs fades to pass. But he's hit as he throws by Perdoni. Intercepted by Bill Flowers, and Tech takes over. Final score of the season opener, Georgia Tech, 23, South Carolina, 20. Georgia Tech versus 
Florida State, coached by Bill Peterson. The Tech FSU game was carried on regional television. Captains for Tech, Bill Flowers from Birmingham, Alabama, and Steve Harkey from Atlanta. Late in the first quarter, there's no score in the ball game when Carroll steps back to punt for the Seminoles. And he boots one out of there to safety man Mike Wysong of Tech. Watch this sensational return from his own 40. Little Mike begins to make his move. He races down the sidelines, cuts back, and goes 55 yards to the Seminole 5 as the first quarter comes to an end. On the first play of the second quarter, Bruce Southall of Orlando, Florida gets the call. He dives in for the touchdown, and the Jackets lead FSU 7 to nothing. Now Florida State scores when Wiggum at quarterback passes to Tyson, and it's good for a touchdown to tie the game at 7-7. That's the way the first half ends. Third quarter on the attack with Georgia Tech. Number one, Eddie McShann back to throw. Complete the Steve Harkey for 10 yards and a jacket first down. From the eye formation, a pitch out to Brent Cunningham. He circles left in, makes some nifty moves as he picks up 11 yards, and again, the Jackets have moved the stick. His second touchdown of the day coming up on a pitch out. Bruce Southall for the touchdown. The Jackets have the lead again. Tech 14, FSU 7. The Seminoles take to the air. This is Wiggum. Fires a long pass. Intercepted by Bubba Holtz of West Point, Georgia for Georgia Tech. The Jackets back to the attack. McShann to Cunningham. A diving grab for a Tech first down and a 16-yard play. McShann rolls left. Flips it to Steve Harkey. He's got it for 11 more yards for Tech. McShann found many receivers for Georgia Tech in this ballgame. Here he spots Steve Norris of Marietta, Georgia, who goes for 13 yards for Tech. Now one of the wildest plays in the Tech FSU game. McShann is back to pass. Stiff arms his way, scrambles, then loops the pass. It's tipped by Florida State, caught by Larry Stutter. He literally fights his way in for the touchdown for Tech. At the end of three quarters, Georgia Tech 21, Florida State 7. Two plays later, Monroe on a sweep for FSU is hit by Tim Broom, Joe Hardwick of Cleveland, Tennessee, and Smiley Gebhardt for a safety. The final score, Georgia Tech 23, FSU 13. Tech against Miami, coached by Charlie Tate, former assistant coach at Georgia Tech. Captains for the Jackets are Buck Shiver of America's Georgia and Chip Pullman of Jacksonville, Florida. Miami on the attack. Betts around left end, stacked up by Gebhardt, hit by Shiver and Ford, fumble recovered by Georgia Tech's Stan Beavers. The Jackets take over first and ten. Now watch Tech execute the screen pass beautifully. Complete to Cunningham. It's good for 16 yards. And a Tech touchdown. The Jackets lead Miami 7 to nothing. Palman in punt formation for Georgia Tech. Tony Stowers takes it for Miami. And here he goes on a 75-yard return for a touchdown that ties the game. At the end of the first quarter, Tech 7, Miami 7. Second quarter, Jack Moore for Tech tries a 20-yard field goal that could put the Jackets in front. It does. Tech 10, Miami 7. The Hurricane takes to the air. Cochran's pass. 
intercepted, a great diving interception by Stan Beavers. McShann takes to the air for Tech. Complete to Steve Norris for 11 yards and a jacket first down. McShann spins. Fires to Palman. Good for 11 yards to the Miami 20-yard line. Looking through the air again. McShann to Cunningham. Good for 18 yards and a touchdown as Trent scores again for Georgia Tech. At the half, Tech 17, Miami 7. Third quarter. Shan's having a sensational day through the air. Here he completes one to Harkey, and watch this run by Steve Harkey of Georgia Tech. The play carries for 39 yards for the Jackets. Faking a handoff, McShan keeps the ball himself. Circles left in and battles his way for 12 yards on a nifty piece of running. Back to the air lanes. McShan to Steve Foster of Shambly, Georgia. It's good for 28 yards and Tech scores again. At the end of three quarters, Tech 24, Miami 13. And the quarterback option, a pitch out to Cunningham. And watch Brent Cunningham go. This terrific run is good for 37 yards for Tech. Cunningham has a great day against Miami. Here again on a pitch out to the right. Brent fights for 16 yards. And he's finally stopped on the Hurricane one-yard line. Tech's final touchdown of the game. Again scored by Cunningham. He battles into that end zone. He's got it. The final. Georgia Tech, 31. Miami, 21. Georgia Tech versus Clemson. Coached by Hootie Ingram. Captains for Tech, Tim Broom of Rome, Georgia. And Brent Cunningham of Eatonton, Georgia, who has a banner day against the Tigers. First touchdown of the game was scored late in the second quarter when Yauger dives over from the one for Clemson. At the half, the Tigers lead seven to nothing. Third quarter, Tech on the attack at quarterback Jack Williams. Back to pass, fires to Larry Studdard, completes the 14 yards, and the Jackets are moving. Now watch Brent Cunningham as he gains 41 yards on this play. All told, Brent stacked up 217 yards against Clemson to establish a new single-game rushing record for Georgia Tech. The payoff play in this drive for the Jackets. McNamara gets the call, dives into the end zone. It's all tied. Tech 7, Clemson 7 after three quarters. Clemson's ball, fourth period. Quarterback Kendrick is back to pass. He's hit by Brad Bourne of Atlanta. He fumbles. It's recovered by Tim Broom for Georgia Tech. The Jackets on the attack to take the lead. On a pitch out, Cunningham circles left in. 12 yards, a first down for Tech. On the option, Williams fakes, keeps, then pitches back to Larry Studdard of Columbus, Mississippi. A block by Evett. A great run by Studdard. This play goes for 43 yards. Touchdown, Tech. The Jackets lead 14 to 7. Now watch this play by Brent Cunningham. Watch the blocks by Studdard, Harkey, Mike Oven, Andy Mayton. Here is a truly great run. A 69-yard touchdown run. Following the Clemson game, Coach Bobby Dodd called Brent Cunningham the finest runner he's seen at Georgia Tech. The final touchdown of the game. McShan back to pass, has to scramble. He gets his pass away to Steve Foster. Touchdown Tech, the final. The Jackets, 28. Clemson, 7.